Hello best friend and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a fabulous day. If this is the first time you're watching my channel, my name is Sebastian and I welcome you guys with open arms. I do pop culture videos every single day. So if you're looking for a new messy best friend, you have found me, grab a snack, grab a drink, hit that subscribe button. I would be very grateful. You guys, we need to talk about this because Selena Gomez, girl, I have no idea what is going on. And listen, we have to talk about this. So yesterday, you guys saw the video, which thank you so much for all the love. You guys saw the video of Selena Gomez unfollowing Gigi, Bella, Zane, and Dula Peep. Dula, Dua Lipa, girl, Dua Lipa. Why do I always do the Dula, Dula Peep? Um, listen. The unfollowing of Zane and Gigi and Bella, girl, I was like, I'm with you on that, girl. Sometimes you just, you know, you just need to like, you just need to like, you know, you need to, you need to like do a ceremony of goodbye, girl. You, you, you know, sometimes, girl, like for real, honey. I'm, I'm there right now. You need to purge, honey. You need, to, you need to get out, honey. You, you need to, you need to just boof, 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 boof. You know, just like, Dale, Dale, daylight come in. You know, you just need, you need to like get out. You know. Um, so I highly recommend, you know, taking people out of your life. You just, they have no service. You know, they, they serve nothing for you anymore. They don't bring any lighter positivity. So you just got to say goodbye. But Dula Pipa, girl, she, what did she do to Selena, right? Well, of course, Dula Lipa, she dated Anwar, which of course is Gigi and Bella's son, uh, his girl's son, brother. So I guess Selena was like, girl, I want nothing to do with this family. But then I guess she found out that Dula Peep actually and Anwar broke up. So she was like, oh my bad, let me follow her again. Girl, she followed her again. Does Selena Gomez know that we can see all of this and that we're gonna be talking about all of this? I think she obviously does. And I think she wants that, you know, secretly, listen, I know she is a good person. I know she is an amazing, amazing, amazing mental health advocate, but I also think she loves a little bit of a mess. And I am happy to be messy for her, honey. I will be messy for Selena Gomez every single day of the fucking week if I had to, okay, bitch? Um, but listen, right, um, you know, I a lot of people are like, oh my God, even TMZ's like, oh my God, she unfollowed and she followed, you know. There's nothing wrong with unfollowing and following. The issue is, right, that of course, people are gonna be talking about it, right? And this only sparked the Zayn and Selena rumors even more, bitch, because people are like, oh shit, oh shit, something happened, bitch, something happened. You know, Selena Gomez woke up one morning and said, au revoir, bitch, like she, something must have happened, right? So she said, I want nothing to do with the Hadids. I want nothing to do with, with the Maliks, the Zayn. I want nothing to do with any one of you guys. Goodbye, right? And you know what, you guys? I think it's okay. I think we should, I think we should normalize cutting ties with people. I, I really do. I think we should normalize cutting ties with people. You know, it's sort of like that friend that you hardly ever see that when, when you do talk, all they do is talk about themselves. And then you're just like, what purpose are you serving me? Like, you're not a real friend. You don't care about me. You only care about yourself. So I'm letting you go. Oh, not me having a, a therapy session right now. Yeah, you know, I'm dealing with that right now. You know, I'm dealing with a lot of, not a lot, but like a couple people in my life who has been in my life for such a long time that right now I'm just sort of like seeing and, and, and thinking, I'm just like, we need to cut ties. So I think we should normalize cutting ties with people who we just feel like are not allowing us to shine, allowing us to, <clears throat> to, you know what I mean? Yeah, so anyways, I think I'm gonna, mm-hmm, mm -hmm, just had an epiphany, bitch. No, but you know, I'm following Dula Lipa back, Dula Peep, I think it's, I, you know, first of all, I mean, Dula Peep, she is one of the biggest musicians ever, right? She, right now at least, I mean, she is taking the, 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 the dance charts by storm. She knows how to put on a show. She's absolutely gorgeous. She did date Anwar, right? Of course. But I just feel like yesterday, Selena Gomez was probably a little jet lagged from France. And she just, you know, maybe she had like a little, in, in incident with Zayn and, and maybe she was just like, you know what? 
I don't need any of these people in my life. And do the peep because she went out with the brother. Goodbye, girl. You know what I mean? Um, a lot of people were actually talking about how Selena Gomez should be unfollowing more people. Um, she has not unfollowed the one that we all expect for her to unfollow very soon, which is Miss Haley Bieber. Um, which honestly, I, I just honestly, I mean, I, I don't even know why she's still following her in the first place. Like to be very honest with you. Um, but hey, you know what? To each its own, bitch. To each its own, okay? Something is boiling. Something is coming because here's the thing. Taylor and Gigi are best friends. Gigi and the other girls, the Lip Jenner girl and the Rhodes are our best friends. Selena Gomez fighting with Gigi. A lot of people are saying this could really affect her relationship with Taylor. Like I said yesterday, I don't think it will. But what I do think is happening is that Miss Selena Gomez came back from her France vacation, girl, and she said, you know what, bitch? This is my time to my eat, pray, love moment. This is my time to be the fucking bitch. I am that bitch. And I'm going to show everyone that you cannot fuck with me. Okay? You want to catch an attitude? Catch this unfollow. You want to be a bitch? Catch this unfollow. You want to come for me? Catch this unfollow. Okay? Catch this unfollow. Watch this unfollow. Watch this unfollow. Unfollow, 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 unfollow. Okay? Anyways. So, I'm very proud of Miss Selena Gomez. And again, you guys, I want to remind you that if you need to let out, you need to fucking delete, you need to separate yourself from people, do it. Listen, my key of life is now the following. The older you get, the more you understand that patience is not a lot, okay? You do not have a lot of patience. So if somebody is in your life who is dragging you down, who does not want you to win, who only brings in toxic energy, who only brings negativity, who never allows you to express yourself, that it's always about them, that you really cannot trust them, that when they come to your house, they leave you know weird vibes, that they're always complaining, all of those things, you guys, delete from your life. I swear you're going to be a lot happier, you know? And I understand that some friends and even family members that you've known forever, you know, you're like, how can I say goodbye to this person? Like, it's so sad. I understand it's sad. But when you try and try and try uh, to have some kind of relationship with someone and it, and it just doesn't happen, it's because life in the universe and God, whatever you believe in, it's trying to tell you that this person should not be in your life, you know? And it hurts to say goodbye. It hurts to separate yourself, but it is very important, you guys. Probably the most important thing in the whole entire world is to protect your energy. And that's what I think Miss Selena Gomez is doing. She is protecting her energy. She is protecting herself from toxicness. And I'm not saying Gigi and Bella and this are toxic. Maybe just the situation that they're experiencing is toxic. Maybe something did happen with Zayn and it just became a very toxic thing. Maybe Gigi got involved. Maybe Bella got involved. You know, maybe the weekend. Who knows? So many things could have happened that you just sort of like, you know what? It's better just to separate yourself and just to say goodbye to the situation. So if you're out there and you're going through this girl, let it go. Like like the, the frozen bitch said, Elsa, let it go. Let it go, let it go. This friend don't need any more. Let it go, let it go. You better protect your energy. Here you are on the verge of new beginnings. You don't need that trash. You better take that trash out before you get cold. I could have come up with something so much fucking better, but I didn't, bitch, okay? Anyways, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. I love you all so much. Um, I think it's hilarious that she followed Dula Pipa back, and I just think it's so funny that she is just like un... She is unapologetically living her truth, and that is something that I fucking with. I fuck with so hard, living your truth. Being the most authentic person in the world is very important. Anyways, bitch, I gotta go. I had a really nice breakfast this morning. It's my husband's and I wedding anniversary today, so we went out for breakfast. I had a little bit of too much sugar. That's why I think I'm all over the place. I can't stop talking. Whew. I had an egg sandwich with a little Nutella croissant, and then we shared a little bit of an apple pie. And oh, and some freshly squeezed orange juice, bitch. Anyways, I love you all so much. I'm very grateful for you guys. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video.